Deb and Madeline are disruptors. There's about to be some kind of apocalypse in the circle and the zombies are coming. And I've got a funny feeling that we're about to have another blocking. And Michelle, can you please stop repeating what I'm saying after I say it? It's like I should be presenting the show. Welcome back guys, I'm Gord Camp, and today we're going in for episode five of The Circle. I'm reacting, just a bit of a recap. We had a copyright issue, so there's no footage on the video. You just have lovely me reacting to the show. Last week, there was some massive arguments in The Circle. Everyone was losing their minds in the chats. Everyone was grasping at straws, trying to keep their alliances going, and everyone was just falling apart. To make it even worse, two disruptors became part of the circle and their profiles are about to be switched to each other. They will have to run each other's profiles. I'm really interested to see where this is going to go. Let's go in episode five. Previously on the circle. So we had four episodes released then there was a gap and they've just released the new four episodes. So this is why we had like a coming up on the next circle and previously on the circle. This is why we've got this. So far, I'm still loving Deb, but she's not as interesting as I thought she was going to be, being a teacher. The twins have really grown on me. Being from New York, I was a bit wary about the accent and how I was going to feel about that, but it's been okay. The two new players, Madeline and Garrett, have been amazing. They've slotted right in and they've fit in really well. Love Madeline, love Garrett. Andy is doing really well, but I still can't remember the name of the girl who's playing Andy. It hasn't been coming up on the screen. Sorry, but I don't know your name, so I'm just keep calling you Andy, and I keep getting confused. Judeha and Darian have been creating a great relationship together, but they forgot about the rest of the circle because they're just focused on each other. And they don't seem to know what's going on. <laughs> Weird. And Savannah got evicted. I can't believe it. She was good, but again... She was influencer too early, and she got evicted really early as well. Blocked! I keep saying evicted. She got blocked too early. So here we go. Michelle Buteau, take us in. So we've got a profile swap. Rachel and Madeline. Madeline has to be Rachel. Rachel has to be Madeline. Until the next blocking. Madeline doesn't know anything about Rachel. She's got to lose her mind. Rachel's quite attentive, I think she'll be okay. And they're checking out their new profiles, trying to figure out who they are before they start pretending to be them. Deb knows what yoga is, but she's never done it. I think they're going to ruin each other's alliances by accident. I think they'll try really hard, but I think they just don't know each other. These are two people in the circle who haven't really connected. They don't know each other. They're about to talk to each other. <laughs> This is so funny. They're having a chat with themselves. It's hilarious. So now they've got this chat going on to find out who they are. Circle, who am I? Message, send. We knew it was going to be dangerous because the other disruptor sessions have been good, according to Madeline. But this is a chance for them to connect. It's a chance for them to actually get to know each other better. So if they both come out of it safe, then at least they've got a better alliance then. Unless they screw each other over by accident and then they're going to hate each other. But I love that they're giving each other their beefs. They're telling each other who their problems are. This level of honesty, it's dangerous, but I think it might work. Hashtag get those sexy photos ready. Rachel has to pretend to be Madeline for Andy. Oh my God. This has got to be so funny. Because Rachel isn't really Rachel. And if you remember, in the thirst trap game, she didn't even know what a thirst trap was, so she posted a picture for drinking a cocktail. <laughs> this is going to get bad. And she doesn't know what OnlyFans is. Oh my god. Rachel's losing the plot. Because she had no idea what OnlyFans was. Now she knows. Oh my god. This is a great game plan. Turn their own alliances into another friend with their opponents. That's so confusing, but they're helping each other out in the long term to make sure this goes well. Okay, I'm really glad they had this chat as well. 
And you know, it's it's actually really good that Madeline classed Rachel as a goody two shoes before she asked what OnlyFans was. Because she's got that perception of her that she isn't actually in the, the know about modern stuff. I think they call it an old soul, isn't it? Time to go. Good morning, Atlanta. It's time to start again. It's a nice day. Yes, we love some aerial shots, M Michelle. Start again. Yeah. Good song. Oh, Gianna's a coffee person as well. Don't talk to me till I've had my morning coffee. How was that for an accent? I thought that was really good. Darian never dresses in the morning. I think that's part of his game plan. But they can't see him, we can. We're not voting. The twins are so good at working together. At the start of every day, they have this conversation like, this is what's happening, this is what we're going to do, this is what went well, this didn't go well. Ah! Finally, Judicia! You finally want to open up to other players. It's only episode five. You've been too focused on Darian. How can you not realize for five days that you haven't spoken to anyone except the boy that you're trying to get off with? I thought Kevin was bad. Judicia, come on. No, Madeline, don't talk to Kevin. That's immediate sus vibes. That immediately makes you sus. Oh, Okay, Madeline, bad move, but the first move she makes, and it sucks. Good morning, Kevin. That's a nice first message, but you've made a mistake. Kevin thinks it's genuine. Okay, so it worked. It worked for her. Kevin's quite a positive person. He always looks on the bright side. Madeline is really intelligent. Do you know that? The way she's approached this... Is helping both of them, Rachel and Madeline, but it's also sucking Kevin in so that he doesn't get Rachel out in the next blocking. I said in the last episode, because of the argument, Kevin and Rachel would end up in the in the blocking. So I'm hoping this kind of undoes that. Kevin wants to start fresh with Rachel. Okay, well done, Madeline. Well done. It went well, I'm happy. Madeline's like, I'm pretty good at this. Yes, babe, you are. My work here is done. Yes, Michelle. Garrett crushed being himself. Garrett wants to shake ass. Yeah. We want you to shake ass too, Garrett. We do. They're all working out. Madeline's doing yoga. The boys are doing pull-ups. Garrett is doing the crab. Hi, crab. Like about seafood. <laughs> so her first reach out from Judasha is for Garrett. So that's good. Garrett's happy. We're happy. She went with one of the new people, so it's not been as long since she hasn't reached out. That's good choice. I think that's good choice. That's a shit first message, Judeha. Good morning. How are you feeling? I'm sure you're on limited time. Jadesha doesn't think she got much information. I'm sorry, what did you give him? Don't get me started. She took long enough to speak to more people. And now that she is speaking to more people, she's not saying anything. Does she know how DMs work? I don't think Jadeha's good in conversation. In these circle chats, she's not getting underneath the surface. Like even Garrett just said we don't get deep when it comes to things but now all i can think about is garrett wants to go deep excuse me now that's intelligence garrett can use this to get deeper into her let me rephrase that garrett can go more in depth about finding out about judeha <laughs> judeha you're not making much sense darling you're just saying words i knew there was more to it blah 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 what Okay, so they're talking about mental illness. Now I feel bad. Oh, Garrett's about to start crying. He's crying. I don't like it when people cry. I'm an emotional wreck. I can't deal with people crying. Do you remember I said in the first episode, like, I can't deal with this. 
Like he's really upset, but this is really hitting a chord with him. He's so empathetic. I just, I love him. I think they did. They just really bonded across their struggles. That was a nice chat. It wasn't a nice chat, it was a good chat. And I think they've really helped each other out. Oh. I feel like I've learned a lot in, from that chat as well, to be honest. <sighs> Pull yourself together, Gordon. There's a show to watch. Alert! Game, make out, marry, murder. Okay. This will cheer me up. You must choose the player that you'd like to make out, marry, or murder. Okay. Darian's excited. The twins are posed and ready to go. They stood in front of the TV, waiting to play. Gianna is gunning for Kevin. Garrett marries Jadesha in Murder Madeline. Make out with Gianna. Wow. Everyone is going to wonder why. Madeline is fuming. Darian, okay, let's go. Ooh, we wants to make out with Gianna. Obviously, he's going to marry Judicia. He's murdering Rachel. <laughs> What's so good about Gianna? Oh, they love her. Judicia's happy that he wanted to marry her. Okay, who's next? Rachel is next. Okay, so I think she'll. Oh, it's Madeline, isn't it? Oh no, she's made friends with Kevin. So she's going to murder Andy. She's created a new, a, a new problem. Oh my god. Darian doesn't know what's going on. Andy is not doing well at the moment. Uh oh. Judicia's next. She'll marry Darian. Who's she making out with? She's going to murder Madeline. Because she's not saying anything to her. I'm sorry, Judicia. You don't talk to anyone. It's not her. It's you. And she made out with Gianna. Everyone's making out with Gianna. Everyone is so close to Gianna. They're playing such a good game. Why would Gara be surprised about Judicia and Darian? I can't believe she murdered Madeline. What? Okay. Madeline. But Deb, playing Madeline. Okay, she's got the notes. She's going to make the right decision. I trust you, Deb. Let's go. So she's marrying Andy and make out with Gianna. Everyone's making out with Gianna. Considering she was the first blockage, she's doing not well. And she murdered Garrett? No. You can't get rid of Garrett. Madeline's actually happy, so that's fine. She didn't say Andy, so we're okay. Woo! Okay, Andy, let's go. Oh, she's throwing a spanner in the works. You can't choose someone else? Then, Andy, you're paired with Madeline. If you choose someone else, she will be instantly against you. And you've married Kevin. Are you ill? And you got rid of Rachel. Madeline's lost her mind now. That doesn't make sense. Created, you're creating issues, Andy, whose name I can't remember by the person that's caught fishing. Andy's not very intelligent right now. What? Andy, you're thinking too much about this. Gianna, okay. Everyone's making out with you. What are you going to say? They're having a good conversation, as always. Think clearly, be transparent with each other, make the right choice. They made out with Andy, married Darian, and got rid of Kevin. I get the Kevin thing. Because they had a rift in the hideout. Darian, how have you got these links? I think people are just trying to build bridges. And Judicia thinks something's going on in the background. The kegs are going. The cogs are ticking. Right, Kevin, let's go. 
Who's your faves? Who are you getting rid of? Murray Rachel. Okay. He's solidifying the relationship with Rachel that they had conversation they had this morning using Madeline's voice. He made out with Madeline. Everyone's so confused. And he got rid. Who did he get rid of? He got rid of Gianna. Everyone's just playing guessing games now. Because they don't know about the conversations that have gone on. Nobody knows about Rachel and Madeline. Switch. Ah! <laughs> Gianna's vicious. I can't believe she just called him that. Thank you for playing Make Out, Marry, Murder. Good game. And it always causes rifts. Without fail, these games always cause rifts. Those twins are doing really well. They're playing a good Gianna. They really are. I'm so glad Andy is regretting his decisions. He didn't think that through at all. And now Rachel wants to talk to Andy to figure out what the hell went on. The pressure. And remember, Rachel is actually using Madeline's profile, calling Andy out as Madeline. Like Deb is just such a ruthless character. She just goes straight in with the arguments. Deb is so argumentative to Andy, and this is going to cause a rift between Madeline and Andy. She's ruining Madeline's profile. But Andy's done a massive thing by causing questions in so many of the contestants, the players, the people, the profiles. That's so funny. Hashtag future threesome. <laughs> Deb is so uncomfortable with this conversation. <laughs> They're both like, okay, let's just clarify this. They're both catfishes. One's a catfish, catfishing. And Andy's just a catfish. Not like this conversation, not one ounce of it is factual or real. This is complete gameplay. I freaking love this to death. Let's find a yummy picture. Oh, she's going. She's going in with a rude picture. And obviously it's not rude on the circle, but revealing picture. Only good boys get dessert. Oh my God. <laughs> I think Madeline. Oh, this is next level. I love how bizarre this conversation is in regards to Rachel. Hashtag, she's got my back and has yours too. But she just tried to get rid of her in that last game. It's not working. I knew it. I st let's go back 20 minutes. What did I say? It won't work. They will destroy each other's sides. Game over. They're doing not, not bad, but they've only had one chat each. Okay, this... This might be working. I will eat my words, but this might be working. Because now Andy feels like she owes Madeline to save Rachel. And they're on board together as like a team. And I think the teams now are becoming doubles. Like Judeha, Darian... Madeline and Andy, Rachel and Kevin, Garrett is in the girls and the boys group. <laughs> but it's too evenly split. I'm not sure where this next blocking's going to go. <gasps> and Deb has just said, for, as Madeline, that Kevin has been sly and oh my god. Wow. Hashtag spicy session soon. Oh my god, what a chat that's been. Deb, you're exhausted. I'm exhausted just watching it. That was a spicy chat. Oh my god. Oh, the twins are barbecuing. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. I was barbecuing, Andy. Don't juggle pool balls. You'll damage yourself. Look at that rib. Is that a rib? Steak. Love it. They're living their best life in that circle, I tell you. Okay, Darian is expanding his question uh, his circle now. He's reaching out to Gianna. I'm glad they're expanding, but they're just not expanding quick enough. I think everyone except Judisha and Darian it take, takes too long to have these conversations. So get on with it, Darian. Let's go. Go to private chat now. Well, hello there, future bride-to-be wedding ring. At least Darian's real. This chat is at least 50% honest. Here we go. Oh, they're playing the lovey-dovey angle. I don't think he'll buy it. He won't buy it. He's already got Judicia. He is not going to buy it. This lovey-dovey thing with someone else. And if he does, I'll eat my words. As one of your wives, I have to tell you. Gianna, he's not taking. Oh... <gasps> And they're putting Kevin under the bus as well. Wow, Kevin is going down. Let's go back, episode one or two, I'd said. Kevin, if he keeps lying and he keeps playing this game, he will go. He will get blocked. Nobody will buy it. Nobody's going to listen. Where are we? Here we go again. And I knew that when he became the influencer, but here we are. Hashtag meet me at the altar. Another love chat. Jojo, I love that. Nikki, I love that. Darian, I've got two wives. Kevin has got no idea what's coming. He thinks he's on top of everything. Game wedding party! Is this from uh, the game earlier? Darian thinks it's a party for him. Andy thinks it's a party for him. Jadesha thinks it's a party for her. And this highlights the people who are all loved up and don't realize that they haven't gone out and created connections. Oh, it's a party. They've all got outfits. Oh, I love. Oh, I love these outfits. Darian with his see-through blouse. Wedding dress. Oh, look at those wedding dresses. Oh. Who's getting married then? Judicia's got a wedding dress. Darian is all in white. Garrett is in white and Rachel's in white. Oh, look. Circle chat's now open. The wedding party chat is open. Get it right, Gord. Before the dancing starts, let's chat. Rachel is Madeline. Congratulations. Good chat. Let's go. Where's this going to go? Are you going to be nice now in this chat? They're all going to be nice to each other, unlike the last couple of chats. This is the first, actually, this is the first group chat since that huge argument. Now everyone's just being so nice. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. You're such a nice couple. Mm, we love you. We want to be you. We would think you're the best. And really, they want them out. Everyone wants everyone out. There we go. We're in love. We love it. I love it. They're sending a nice message. Then they say something really nasty. Hilarious. I love that Rachel and Madeline are kind of giving a nod to each other in this chat. And everyone thinks Madeline's genuine. <laughs> but this is how good Deb is at being a catfish. Yo. You look like a real-life Princess Judicia. Look, you're, you're beautiful in that wedding dress. But do you think some contestants might be like, I've never worn a wedding dress. I want my first wedding dress to be special. I can't do that. I can't wear that. They couldn't. They wouldn't be allowed. They signed a contract. <laughs> She's desperate to know what Darian and Gianna have got going on. Oh my god, Gianna's pulled them up on the Gianna-Darian thing. Nobody's answering. Nobody's actually saying anything. Why is it taking so long? Come on, say something. Like in real time, probably about 10 minutes has passed because it feels like ages and I'm just watching it. I knew it. Here's the argument. Darian's got two wives and he's been asked. He's been questioned on it. 
Hashtag what's understood doesn't have to be explained. That is an easy out. Really, that is an easy out. Who the hell's that? New alert. <laughs> Tiara has joined the wedding party. Tiara? Like, Tiara? Tiara? Who the hell is this? Who invited you? Tiara is crashing this party and if you have a problem with that, speak now or forever hold your peace. That's rough. Who is this? When you've got a party, it never ends well. The maid of honor has arrived and that sounded like a man. End of show. What? <gasps> I cannot stand these bloody cliffhangers. You can't end with something like that. Message. Circle. WTF. Hashtag. Stop doing this to me. Send. Cannot wait for episode six. I cannot. I just can't. I can't function. I get worse every episode. Here we go. Hyperventilating. Can't breathe. I need to take breaths. Slow, steady breaths. There's a wedding party going on. I can't even focus on it. Guys, what does this mean? I love the drama. Do you love the drama? Do you think they'll get married? Yes or no? Drop me a comment. What do you think is going to happen in episode six? <gasps> oh, we need to get through this and we will get through it. We'll get, we'll be fine. I promise. I'll try. We will be fine. Don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment or do what you have to do. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye. Pow!